Daily Lands Blog for June the 5th, 2018. We are looking back at the last 800 or so Lands Blog, trying to try to look at the things that were effective, the things that were not so effective, uh, and what we've learned, and specifically, obviously, what Casey and I have learned. You know, one of the things that I liked was the response I got uh, that said, essentially, I've finally learned that I don't have to be ashamed. And if as we say, I mean, typically we always say, you know, we just want to reach one person. If you can change one person's life, then um, that would be a great thing. And without a doubt, it would be a great thing. But you know what? At a certain point you go, okay, I'm going for more than one. You know, at a certain point you have to go, you know, one's not enough. Uh, but uh, I kind of always figure that one person represents many others because there's many millions of people that watch the Lance blog every day. Not going to bust me on that case? No, it was pretty obvious. Uh, and if you help one person in one way, then chances are you're helping somebody else. Uh, for me, one of the things that I've learned, uh, and when I, when, I, when I first started talking about mental illness, uh, even on, on the first day that I started sharing, uh, I, I realized that it was incredibly powerful to share my own struggles and to respond to people and to communicate with people. And I thought, you know, you can really stop people from ending their lives and that maybe this is the solution to some extent in a small way to suicide. Uh, but I have learned over the past couple of years that while it can be hugely effective and that there are people all the time who say, you know, just hearing someone talk about this illness and someone reaching out to me and saying, you know, I care. I understand what you're going through. I'm here with you can make a huge difference. But then I come back to uh, the tragedy, uh, the biggest tragedy that I've personally experienced over the last couple of years, and that's Luke Sklar. And I kind of feel like uh, not that I failed him, because I did my best. And I don't ever think that anyone's ever believed that, you know, everybody can be saved. But with Luke, I realize that, you know, it doesn't always work. And that you can do all the right things. Someone can say, I feel like I'm understood. I feel like someone's here with me. I feel like they have gone through this exactly how I'm going through this. But even then, sometimes it's not enough. And one of the things that I, I, I promise that I will continue to do is to try to realize what is, what is the combination to this, this safe, which is a person who is on the edge of suicide. How do you crack that? How do you get into um, a place where you really can make a difference? What's the best thing to say? And the answer to some extent lies in the people that have been there, who have been on the edge, who have attempted to take their lives. What could we have done? What could I have done? What could anyone have done to make a difference? Got to learn from the past. And no matter how big the tragedy, um, you at least have to use it to try to say, I understand better. Signalweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Have you been to the edge? If so, uh, let us know what would have brought you back.